Alright, in this video let's talk a little bit about the architecture. Now, no, that doesn't mean go get a cup of coffee. This will be kind of a, <laughs> a very strong cup of coffee. This won't be one of those uh, intricate level uh, looks at Azure. Uh, it, it's just going to be a high level and actually it's quite quite interesting. Uh, so, and we'll do some hands-on here in a second too, which is good. So this, this whole thing won't be a lecture. All right. So here's my uh, my bullet points: SQL Azure architecture, quick take. So we've got this shared infrastructure concept, right? So uh, each machine has one instance, right? There, there are no VMs. All right. So we've got our server, we've got our instance, and our user databases, right? It's one database, right? The database is cut up. So let's Let's talk about it. This bullet point here, it's currently a, a, an 08 engine with modica modifications for Azure. Again, one instance um, and one database. Uh, lots of partitions, right? So these user databases are partitions. All right, these partitions are the Azure user databases. Now you can say that real, real fast, 10 times, and that'll mess with you. All right, so when we create an Azure database, we get a slice of a database. All right, we're actually it's it's sharing. We're sharing logs. We're sharing files. Um, so here we go in the next one. We're sharing logs and data files for performance reasons, obviously. All right. So uh, for every database created, Azure creates three copies on three separate machines. Uh, this is for the, the built-in high availability aspect. All right. Users don't talk directly. Uh, they interact with the gateway service. It forwards these uh, TDS requests. Again, we won't dive into any of that uh, nomenclature there. We'll just, we'll just, you know, kind of a high level like, oh, that's interesting. So one of the issues with this whole cloud thing is is latency, right? And, and specific network latency, um, which is interesting because it has as much to do with the data center design as it does geographic location. Um, so users in Sydney uh, may have faster access to Chicago than they do Singapore. So these users here, because of the design of the database, uh, I mean the uh, data center in Chicago, may actually have faster retrieval speeds than the connection to Singapore. Um, and that's actually not a, at this juncture right now, that's actually not a, uh, a made up scenario. This is true. Uh, Sydney users, uh, as a general rule, have faster access to Chicago. All right. So, what can we do to minimize this this latency, uh, this poor point, this poor point, this, uh, this, poor point, this uh, I'm not sure what the word is. So we'll just go with uh, poor point. All right. This poor point of <laughs> since I can't think of anything, poor point will work just fine. Um, so what can we do to minimize it? We can choose a, de a data center near the majority of our application users, right? Uh, so this may just be one of these examples. You know, if you were here, you would think, "Well, I'm going to I'm choosing the Singapore one." Uh, but we're allowed, as we'll see, coming up to test this, um, and it's a pretty straightforward test actually. Uh, so, but if I lived uh, and, and I do, so if and and uh, I do live in Atlanta. I would test and I would think either Chicago or Miami uh, would probably be my best bet. So um, what else can we do? We can collate, co-locate to Windows Azure. All right. Uh, that's beyond the conversation of what we want to delve into here. We can reduce round trips. That means we can, uh, we don't want to have our, if you've got a chatty application, uh, if you've got an application that has lots of, of traffic going back and, and forth between the application and the database, you want to reduce that. Um, package it together, and there, there are ways to do that. All right, so let's, uh, the, we can, and the final point here is what I just spoke about earlier. We can test the latency uh, for each data center, which is really nice. Uh, so let's set up a latency test. So here we go. Uh, a select one is like a ping, right? Uh, so let's do it on. So we have, let's bring up our portal. Here we go. So we've got, notice I've created a, a, another, an additional server, right? I am in South Central 
US, but I created one in Northern Europe, and you can create another one. And you know, let's do that. Let's come up here. We're on our three month free trial subscription here. Let's create a server. Uh, how about in um, Southeast Asia? Why not? Uh, let's see. Administrator login will be the same one that I've been using for everything else. And we want to add an IP range. Allow uh, that add. I don't know what mine is. Um, so we'll find out when we connect, won't we? All right, so we've added it. And there it is. Now we have our uh, server in, uh, in three different servers, right? So we're going to test to see which one really has the best speeds for us. Is it Northern Europe? Is it the Central US or is it Southeast Asia? All right, so when we connect to Southeast Asia, so we're here, right? And where is Southeast Asia? Let's, uh, let's see. Let's click on it and let's get this information so we can register it um, in Management Studio. So let's connect and it's going to blow up, right? So why is it going to blow up? you know off the top of your head why this won't work? You should! Because that IP address was not added to the portal. So now we've got to add it to... So, add a range. Actually, I don't want it. Add a range. I just want to add this edge. I want to add. That's what I want to do. I want to add my IP address. So bear with me for a second. And again, I do this stuff on purpose because I want you to see what you're going to have to do. I don't want it to be canned like you're reading a book. I want you to see the keystrokes. I want you to see my errors. And certainly, I want you to see when I mess up, because that's fun too. Uh, rule name. All right, let's do this. I put that in the wrong area. Uh, no, 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 no. So let's do. It will not let me. All right. So how about we go with something unique like rule one? Now I know that is super unique. I'm crafty like that. One sixty-eight two one two boink one. Oh, seven. So now will it work? Want to bet? Bingo! So now we have our our three instances, right? So let's go back and look at our slide and see a select one uh, and uh, click on statistics here. We can see in our slide uh, just we're setting up our latency test and we want to include statistics when we do this. Alright, so let's do this with each. So let's come here. Uh, let's go to let's go actually we want to go to the, let's go to the system database. We'll go to the master on each one of these. And we'll open up a new window for each one. And down, if you're not familiar with this, uh, I might have mentioned this before in the past. Uh, that's comical because if you follow it along, I'm uh, um, I'm really uh, happy about this little bar down here. This simple little addition to Management Studio. Really, it just gives me it gives me all my information. It's just great. It lets me know where I am all the time. In case in a scenario like now, where I've got three different servers open, um, and I need to know what server I'm on. It's pretty important. So let's do a select one. So now let's go back to the beginning. And let's put on our client statistics and let's see where they are. Where is my little statistics thing? It should 
this gets crowded. This should just jump out right at me, right? Uh, I should be able to just do that, but I can't just do it. All right, so let's go here. Let's run this ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's go over here and put on those statistics again. Where is that little guy hiding? Not that one, that one. And let's do the same thing with our server here in, uh, or is that Europe, Northern Europe or some, somewhere like that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do it one more time. Two, I believe, I believe this isn't this, uh, my closest one. Statistics on. Bingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. How very boring, right? So we want to come down and look at the statistics here. Let's move this. Give us ourselves a little bit of real estate. And we want to focus on these time statistics. But first, let's go over and see. Uh, let's see real quick what they mean. Let's go to the slide. Let's go from the current slide. And let's move on here. So we've got these statistics, right? And let's uh, so let's just let's just talk. Let's just walk the bullet points. Uh, SQL Azure allows you to create a database and uh, data centers in North Central, South Central Europe, Southeast Asia, and just what we just did actually. All right. So depending on the location and your network connectivity, you will get different network latencies between different locations, which makes sense, right? On the bottom part of the results, you can see the time statistics, and that's really, you can see right here, it says time statistics, and these three are really all we're really looking for. And we're really looking for uh, the wait time on the uh, server replies, right? This last one. However, uh, let's, let's keep going on the, I just want to jump ahead of those damn bullet points, don't I? So, what do they mean? We've got uh, three three little lines here we need to talk through client processing time the cumulative amount of time the client spent executing code while the query was executed yeah okay execution time right uh, the cumulative amount of time in milliseconds that the client spent processing while the query was executed okay that's cool uh, the wait time on server replies the cumulative amount of time that the client spent while it waited on the server to reply well that's pretty big right that's really what we want to know how long is it going to take for that server to reply to our requests? All right, so uh, let's see. You want to find out the data center that has the lowest uh, wait time uh, for wait time on server replies, right? This last last column, right? Uh, this will be the least amount of network latency and, and the best performance uh, network for your location. Let's end this for a second and go to our window so here we are we're in the last one uh, let's actually completely shut that over and give us now we can see everything so we have the wait time once server replies uh, it's not so good really and where is that well there's a reason that's not so good right isn't this in somewhere in Asia all right so let's see what we got here and we got client statistics let's move it down and what do we have here wow that's a little better huh not bad at all. And why? Where is this? Where is where are we? Are? Uh, oh, well, this makes sense. Um, south. Uh, that's where I am. And let's see what what, what box is this? Oh, this is uh, Europe. Let's see Europe. I bet Europe something's. Uh, so we're gonna guess. Let's guess. When I pull this down, is Europe gonna be better or worse than the one in Asia? Oh, it's gonna be better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So is it better than Chicago? Well, I don't know. It's Chicago. Um, I can't tell by looking at it. I don't know it uh, well enough yet. Uh, but what I do know is um, the one in uh, the portion of the United States that I'm in, which is the southeast, is by far my best option, right? It's this last one. All right, that's, that's not bad. All right, so where would I? Let's uh, double, double the speed and, you know, my God, whew, that's not even on the map, is it? So, the choice right now is obvious. We would create our application on a cloud in this particular server, in our, uh, on him. 
So let's go back and let's go view. Let's go view the object explorer. So really, for a, we can pretty pretty much just get rid of the rest of these, right? He's the winner. Yeah, I mean, I obviously I've done this before. I knew this because this is already set up. Let's see where we are in time. 15 minutes is way too much time. You really only will pay attention for 13 minutes, and then you'll start looking around the room. So let's stop this, and um, we will delve in a little further in the next video.